I'm Holly Clegg. Welcome to my trim and terrific kitchen. You know, in Louisiana, we love crawfish season. We look forward to it, but everybody always wants to know how to boil crawfish. Well, I'm gonna show you a mouth-watering recipe, what to do with those Louisiana crawfish tails. Two of my favorites, Louisiana crawfish and romalot sauce. Now you can buy a romalot sauce, have it out, but it's usually very mayonnaise and high in calories and fat. And I have such a great, simple recipe that's very fresh tasting and easy to toss together. This romalot sauce recipe is gonna be one of your favorites that you're gonna use over and over again. So let's get started. We just have some green onions and just a little light mayo. But you know, if you just have regular mayo at home, fine, don't worry about it. Harsh radish, which is gonna give it its little spunk. A little Dijon mustard. I think I like Dijon mustard in everything. And to give it that creamy consistency, but not high in calorie fat, I'm using a little of Greek plain yogurt. And this is your Creole mustard. I like to do a combination of the two. A little lemon juice and fresh parsley. Now, I use dried parsley a lot, but in this recipe, I do prefer fresh and just chop it up. But if you don't have it, don't wanna mess with it, no problem. I always say, make it easy on yourself. We're just gonna mix it all together. Mmm, it smells so good too. And then we're gonna add our Louisiana crawfish tails. Now, 90% of, over 90% of crawfish is really harvested in Louisiana, and the Monterey Bay uh, Aquarium Seafood Watch rated Louisiana crawfish as a top choice. So always look for Louisiana crawfish, not because it's delicious, but it is the best. And it's also a high protein, low fat, so it's, and you know, we in Louisiana just love our crawfish. So I partnered these two together, and you can see it really could be a salad, an appetizer, whatever you want. So I thought it, we'd be fancy today and we'll serve it like on top of a little martini glass on top of a bed of lettuce. And that's it. Now the recipe is in the link below and this is one I can't wait to dig in. It's a great salad, um, great seafood salad actually. See you in the kitchen.